going to test whether or not changing the times of day that you use electricity saves you money on your bill. So, I have been scouring the internet trying to figure out if off-peak seasons for electricity is going to work for my family. There are different companies that do different types of billing and there are some companies that do time of day rates where if you only use your energy or your electricity during certain times of day you get a cheaper rate but my I have scoured my entire electro electrical company website and I even read their like their manual about the rates and everything and I cannot find this type of rating system with my company. So after scouring the internet, I'm going to see if just changing the hours that my family uses electricity, if that is going to change our bill. So after talking with my husband, we have decided that we are going to do from three to nine, no screens. So, I'm going to go ahead and meal plan and try to do either easiest meals at dinner time or go ahead and like cook them or do a crock pot or something. Something super easy that I can do during the day and we just have to heat up real quick or do the grill. Okay. It is day one of our week of not of not doing um, screens from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. We could have done it more, but because we homeschool and all those things, we're a home more than the average person. We just decided to do that. Um, I don't know if it's really gonna do anything different, but I'll tell you about our spirit experience so far, and it's only two o'clock. <laughs> So we had to try to get our school done uh, super early, which it doesn't take us that long anyway. So we were able to do that. But for my kids to do their chores so that they could get their screen time, that was a hassle. But we got everything done. Everyone's done all their screen time. I'm finishing up dinner so that I can keep it warm and then turn it off at 4. And it'll stay warm until 5.30 when we eat. And... Here we go. It's almost bedtime. It's still light outside. And so far it's going okay. The kids are actually having a ball without any screens. I am the one having a hard time. I didn't realize how much I used screens, how much I depended on them. It's going to be a long week. And next week, spoiler alert, we are going to do a whole week without screens. So... We'll see how it goes. All right, it's actually day four. I'm losing my voice, so sorry. It's day four of our um, limited screen time. Day one, we finally got through. We were outside a lot. Day two, my son had Boy Scouts. So he, we took all the kids there into their grandma's house today or yesterday. We, uh, what did we do yesterday? Oh, we went up to church because I am helping with vacation Bible school. So I had to help get some of that stuff done. And then we took the kids to my in-laws house. So my husband and I could go to a church event today. Again, we had homeschool group. We've been out all day long and it's about seven o'clock. We just got home. We're going to eat some dinner and get going, but it hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, it's day five of our challenge. I've completely lost my voice, so sorry. We are doing really well. My oldest is addicted to screen, so I was worried about him, but he is doing exceptionally well. I would say he's actually doing the best out of all of the kids. His behavior has changed. He's done a complete 180, and he's like an angel child now. My, um, not my youngest, because he's a baby, but my second youngest, she's four, and she's the one who's having a hard time. She's throwing more fits, let's just say, since we've started this. So, I don't know, but we'll see how much money it saves us. All right, it's the last day of our challenge. I'm excited. The kids are excited. 
Um, and now let's go and do some Haley math. This is another installment of Haley math. Of course, of course, as soon as I start filming, my son starts to scream. I still haven't gotten my voice back completely, so excuse it, but we're going to go over the math. So, over the week's time, I saved 81 cents. I probably could have saved more, but we did have company, and there were two days this weekend that we had to use our electricity from four to nine. Um, that's just life, and it's not always going to want work the way you want it to. I'm sorry, 81 cents. I'm not sure what I said before. 81 cents. So that's $3.24 for the week or for the month, excuse me. And that would equal $38.88 for the year if we did this long term. Now, can we do this long term? No, we're home. I mean, bedtimes, night times, are we going to continue to limit our screen time, especially? Absolutely. Um, I'm already doing a lot of limitation on electricity, so I don't know if I could do limiting this much electricity long term. Um, like for dinners, I would make something or we eat leftovers and I'd heat up the microwave real quick and then we'd either eat outside if it was pretty or um, we'd eat in the living room with this because it was light out, so with the sun shining in through the um through the windows and it was nice it, we had lots of family time this week which was actually really good my kids loved it it changed their behavior dramatically it was crazy um and so yeah i think it's definitely worth it um but you have to do what's good for you and your family so if you like this video go watch this one and stay tuned because next time maybe not next time but coming up soon we're gonna go a whole week without any type of social media or screen time. See you then.